as of recent, a lot of people have been discussing abuse and its different forms that it comes in. So what do you think is your best advice when it comes to dealing with abuse and how to um, exit what would be a dangerous relationship? That's, a, that's an interesting question. Um, I can say that you, you got to seek help. And, and my thing is, don't get into it. Uh, you know, most of these uh, domestic violence situation, uh, and, and I can speak as it relates to children because that is my area of expertise. Uh, oftentimes, um, the partner has seen evidence of violence before it, you know, it, it, before it moves on to the children, to be absolutely honest. And uh, at Children's Services, we have campaigns where we talk about domestic violence. We tell folks, choose your partners carefully. Um, but oftentimes, and especially now, uh, when we have COVID and people are locked in, uh, some parents don't see an option. Uh, and so they end up leaving their children with folks that um, they should not. And so seek help. Uh, try not to uh, involve yourself with those kinds of folks. The signs usually appear very early that you have somebody that has a short fuse, somebody that uh, might be a danger to your children. Uh, those things usually show up pretty early in a relationship. But again, the times that we're in, and I'm not making any excuses for folks, but a lot of folks, uh, you know, when you have to still go to work, your kids aren't in school, some people feel like their options are limited, but uh, it's not worth it to take the chance, as you have seen in our city just recently, where um, two children lost their lives 